HPE Persistent Memory offers performance at the speed of memory with the persistence of traditional storage. Today, we had the pleasure to demonstrate the first generation of HPE and VDIMS on a ProLion server running Linux. To keep this technical presentation short and simple, only block device access on file systems is partially presented. However, this technology supports much more. After a quick tour of the server, we will review the BIOS parameters related to NVDIMS from the Linux operating system. Different file system operations on those components will be performed, introducing and demonstrating the direct access mount option, also known as DAX. A basic microbenchmark comparing simple random reads and writes gives an idea of a potential performance increase when accessing this technology versus a regular hard disk. The last part of this demonstration simulates a power cut. After reboot of the server, we will make sure that no data were lost and thus validate the persistence side of this technology. The server used in this presentation is a regular HPE ProLion DL380 Gen 9. From the ILO4 graphical user interface, we can verify the status of the different components and retrieve the characteristics of the system, including the list of all devices present in the server. In the device inventory list, we notice the smart storage battery that will be used to supply power to the NVDIMS so their volatile content can be copied to a persistent flash NAND. From the memory tabulation, we learn that three NVDIMs and one regular DIM is attached to each of the two processors contained in this server. The server is running Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.2 with the specific HPE software development kit loaded. This SDK includes a modified kernel and a set of utilities allowing the support and the management of HPE and VDIMs. From the operating system, with the RESTful interface tool, we can easily retrieve and modify NVDIMS BIOS settings. For this demonstration, the memory interleaving parameter has been enabled. The memory interleaving is performed on a processor basis. As a consequence, in these two socket system, the firmware will present two pools of persistent memory to the operating system. In this section, we will discover how the interleaved memory pools are presented to the operating system. After creating a file system, we will mount them without and then with the DAX option. The persistent memory pools are visible in the slash dev directory and the fdisk utility identifies them as a regular disk. Each PMEM has a capacity of 25 GB corresponding to three interleaved NVDIMs of 8 GB each. On Linux, HP and VDIMs support EXT4 and XFS file systems created with the standard MKFS utility. The PMEMs can now be mounted on the directory tree. A regular mount operation can be performed or the optional DAX parameter can be supplied in order to bypass file system caching layers. We are now ready to perform block device accesses on the persistent memory pools presented to applications via a file system. The flexible I.O. utility is used to perform simple random read and write during 10 seconds, successively on internal disks, the no DAX PMEM and finally the DAX mounted PMEM. On internal disks, we achieve less than 300 I.O. per second, with almost 3000 CPU context switches. Results on the Nodax PMEM shows almost 250,000 I.O. per second and only 13 CPU context switches. The same test on the DAX mounted PMEM outperforms with almost 340,000 IOPS and 6 CPU context switches. The last part of this video simulates a power outage to demonstrate the effective persistency of our HPE NVDIMs. Before the power cut simulation, we compute the MD5 sum of the file used in previous section. Then, from the console, we stop the server abruptly and restart it. 
During the pre-OS tasks, the restoration of the content of the NVDIMs occurs before their complete enablement. The operating system starts normally and we get notified of the successful recovery of a PMEM0 pool. Computing again the MD5 sum tells us that we did not lose or corrupt any data. As previously said, the HPE 8GB NVDIMS supports much more features than those shown in this demonstration. Other domains than databases can leverage this technology, such as virtual machines or containers.